Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. These words from a beloved Christmas carol remind us of the joy that Jesus brings, no matter the season. I know the song is out of season, and you might be wondering how on earth it will comfort you at a time like this, when life is harder. Let me share this Bible verse. It's from Isaiah 35.10, and it says, And the ransomed of the Lord will return. They will enter Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. I remember a time when I felt just like you do now, lost, uncertain, and overwhelmed by sadness. It was during that dark period that I came across this verse, and it gave me hope. It talks about how God's people, the ones He has saved and set free, will come back to Him with singing and joy that lasts forever. Imagine that, joy so overwhelming that it pushes all the sorrow and sighing right out of your heart. You see, this promise isn't just about the future. It's about what God wants to do in our lives right now. He wants to bring us back to a place of peace and joy, even when everything around us feels chaotic. And this joy, it's not something we have to earn or chase after. It's a gift from God through Jesus Christ, like a crown placed on our heads. When I was struggling, I started doing a few simple things that helped me shift my focus back to God. I began each day with a prayer, just talking to Him about my fears and thanking Him for the little blessings I still had. I made time to read the Bible, finding comfort in His promises. Worship became my way of lifting my spirit, singing praises even when I didn't feel like it. And I reached out to friends and family, people who could remind me of God's love when I was too tired to see it myself. I know it's hard right now, but I believe that God has a plan for you. He's not done with you. He sees your struggles, and He promises that all this sorrow will flee away. Sometimes, we just need to take that first step of faith, praying, reading, worshipping, and leaning on our spiritual community. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, we thank you for the promise of everlasting joy. We lift up my dear friend to you, who is feeling the weight of life's hardships. Help them to remember that you have ransomed them and that you have a plan for their life. Forgive us when we let worries take over our hearts. Teach us to seek your presence every day and to find joy in serving you and others. May your promises of joy and peace be a constant reminder of your love. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Remember, finding joy in the Lord is both a gift and a choice. Let's choose to trust in His promises together. I'm here for you, and so is God. Let's take it one day at a time, leaning on Him for strength.